And tonight, Olympic champions Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. That's your three times great-grandfather. Jail for three months for conspiracy. What do you think about that? <laughs> coming into the, the Torvalandine estate, and this is actually Torvalandine Drive. Drive. A chance meeting on an ice skating rink in 1970. Torville Heights, that's called. Torville Heights. Led to Jane Torville and Christopher Dean. Dean Close. Becoming Olympic gold medalists, national treasures, and Nottingham royalty. Bolero Close. Oh. 1984. It's weathered well. Unlike some of us. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Have you seen the big grace picture up here? A bit of Bolero? Yeah. It's but it, I, like, I like how it's blue. I like the blue. I like that. The blue works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like a filter, don't we, these days? <laughs> these days. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, this, this is the whole business. Yeah, it's quite nice. See the scuff on the knee? It's my... Um, knee slide. Knee sliding. Don't forget the splits that you used to do. <gasps> they long gone. My dad and I think my granddad, and most probably his father too, were all miners. They kind of did the same job the generation, years ago, didn't yeah. they? Being brought up in a coal mining community, there was always rights and wrongs, and you knew what was right and wrong, and you'd be told about it, and if you did it wrong, you'd get a clout round the ear roll. My parents' stepmother, they never had a bank account. Remember, on so many occasions, the rent man would come. My stepmom would say, shh, be quiet. Rent man's here. Because <laughs> we didn't have the rent money. I'm equally interested in Chris's DNA journey because I never knew anything. I didn't meet his birth mother till. We'd been skating together for maybe five, six years. It was a long time because he lost contact with her. And I just remember um, one day seeing my mum leaving with a suitcase, and two hours later, Betty, yeah, step the stepmom, arriving. Yeah. And nobody spoke about it. But it was that <laughs> kind of period nobody said. This is your new mum, by the way. <laughs> no, it's just here's Betty. Uh, my dad was the constant. He always looked happy. So, um, and I think my dad was, you know, quite content with his lot. It's like a mystery <laughs> behind me, where it comes from me. I've got two people, three people behind me, and that's all I know. Yeah. Are you nervous about what you're going to find out? I, no, I'm not nervous. I'm, I'm just intrigued. Curious. I'm intrigued, yeah. What if See, they there may be royalty there. Oh, or I was going be... the other end, criminals. <laughs> I don't know what I'd prefer my DNA to be. Um, maybe exotic, maybe some famous sports person in the background that I'd never thought was related to me. I'm asked a lot about were your parents you sporty and all that. Yeah. Because in a lot of families, you know, there is, there is, it does pass down. So I don't know where that came from in me and where that drive was that made me think I could achieve something. Who else is out there that I'm related to, potentially, or not? <laughs> Starting route to High Pavement, Nottingham. First stop on their DNA journey, the National Justice Centre in Nottingham, to meet an expert called Peter. What a beautiful building. Wow. This is what you call a courthouse. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Jane. Hello, Jane. Christopher. Who My are you? Peter. Peter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, we're obviously here for a reason. <laughs> Well, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's one of your ancestors is the reason why you're still in that dock. Uh. <laughs> so, Jane. <Yes>. So, Jane. <laughs> the ancestor, what we're talking about, is yours, Chris. Ah, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So, I'm just going to mention a name and see if it rings any bells. Go on, then. William Breakwell. Not a clue. So, on your maternal side is your three times great-grandfather. I'm just going to show you this document. This is the 1865 Criminal Register. William... Yeah. William Breakwell. What's it say at the side of it? 